All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm your host of the most Cal podcast. We out here in this thing. Want you to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Don't forget to hit that bell. Without further ado, this is our Steam Deck full review. Now, should you buy it? In my opinion, as I told you on the short, it depends. So let's discuss this a little more. First of all, this is a Steam Deck. It is hot, it's beautiful, smooth, and it is sexy. Now you're probably saying to yourself, how much bigger is it than the Switch? Because I know you heard that the Switch was a lot smaller. Let me grab my Switch. First of all, it's my case Switch. See, the Steam Deck already is bigger. So, so I'm going to switch OLED. So I'm going to switch OLED and the Steam Deck. As you can see, my Switch has a little case around it. So there's a Steam Deck. Place them on top of each other. That's the size difference. This, you probably wouldn't mind walking around with. This, you could, but you also say to yourself that is definitely a little bit of a heft size. The feel, I like it. Very good, very good premium feel on it. Great screen. This don't feel like we have Joy-Con drift, but you can also fix it yourself or go to iFixit, which is cool. These I love the most. Very smooth, very cool. So without further ado, let's play this a little bit while we discuss this whole situation. <clears throat> so I got quite a few games. This is 256 gig. Bought this from a homie. So, you know, that's what we're doing our review unit on. I have a half a terabyte SD card inside of it and a few games on it. I'm gonna try to see if uh, Hades will boot up on it. The best things, let's go over the positive before we hit the next. You know what? Let's flip that. Let's hit the cons first. The stuff that I don't like, the size of this has a little bit of size on it. Now you can see, about to play Hades, as you can see the screen. Looks very good, 800. Nothing wrong with that. I always play the Steam Deck version of it. There we go, waiting for it to boot up and say, ooh, you doing that, daddy? Just joking. Uh, the one thing that separates this from the Switch is everything doesn't play straight up on here. It has to be compatible. Now, some things that are not compatible also works. So I can't say because it says not compatible, it doesn't work. But there are some games that are not compatible where it literally means it is not compatible. It will not work. As you can see, just me booting up the game. So you see it, my internet is pretty fast, but this is real time. Now, if you're playing the Switch, you probably have a faster boot, but again, this is PC gaming. Also with the Switch, you can buy a game and typically you buy a game for a Switch is typically is compatible. Everything that's in your Steam Deck on my PC is not necessarily compatible on this Steam Deck. That does not mean that's not a good thing. It just means that certain things you cannot play on here. Like Titanfall 2 is just a no go. Now you can put Windows on it because, you know, some people have Windows on it and it works just great. Let me turn the music down so I don't get no copyright hits. So you can still hear what I'm saying. I think this, like I said, as far as me playing Hades and everything, like I said, I'm gonna try to play this while we discuss. I think it is pretty cool. I like it. You know, you get your your GPU ups, you know, percentage, your CPU percentage, your battery percentage, you know, everything right here, frames per second. I got mine locked in at 40. So that's where is that? These buttons, like I said, are pretty tremendous and pretty hot. The biggest thing as far as cons that I don't like, again, is the compatibility with a lot of stuff. You have to have tinkeritis. Now, when I say tinker artist, what this thing is, you got to be willing to tinker. If you're not willing to tinker on this, then this is not the thing for you. Because without tinkering, you, you just ain't playing. You just ain't doing nothing. I'm just going to run around aimlessly so I can still keep my thoughts together. So you just ain't playing. You always have to tinker with this thing. And sometimes tinkering works out great. Sometimes tinkering doesn't work out great. So it's just one of those things where you have to figure out exactly what you're doing to make sure it works. Now, Proton. That is a thing for Linux that converts it over to Windows so we can play our stuff. And quite frankly, I think Proton is, you know, is good. But Proton doesn't necessarily work on every single game. 
It's just some compatibility issues. I'm not saying Steam is not trying to work on this, but this sucks because if you're an individual that's thinking it's just like the Switch and then go to find out that it's not just like the Switch. It's one of those things that you may say is cool and then other things may say, well, that's not necessarily that is cool. And that could bother you. And that could be a potential downfall for some people. So that's the reason why I said there's nothing wrong with it, but that is a downside to, to this beautiful Steam Deck. Also, this is a Gen 1 product. I believe it get better with Gen 2. It also gives us great updates, but what another con is going to be the size of this mother sucker. It's pretty big. My fans currently are not loud. Let me put it by the mic so you can hear. You can barely hear that they're on. But if I was playing Cyberpunk 27.7 The Elden Ring, yeah, these motherfuckers be on full throttle. There's nothing wrong with that. Just another side of it that's also may be a con. And then another thing would be, do you really need the 64 gigabyte, 256, or 512? That's solely up to you because you can basically put right here, the slot, SD card slot, you can add memory to your deck. So it's kind of sort of up to you if you're gonna like it or if that's something that you wanna do something that you don't want to do so everybody is completely different with that and to each its own oh okay all right well we took a l shout out to hades part two that's coming out if you watch the game and watch you know hades part two gonna be coming out but it's all good like i said a very beautiful situation i think this is a pretty good type of game i think it works good i think the steam deck is you don't the steam deck for you if you ain't got tinkeritis don't want to tinker with stuff don't want to tweak stuff then by all means do not get this because this won't be for you now is these one of these things where you say that you love the screen you love the way to look at the games love to play your pc stuff on the go then this is for you now let's get into this positives. I like it. It's PC gaming all day, every day. I have a PC and sometimes I'm able to take this on the go, put it in off line mode and play my games. Now, when you go back to sync it, that's when I've been noticing I've been having issues. It's, it, it, it's tough syncing it sometimes to the computer and that can become a problem. So that's one of those things that you have to remember. Another positive is I got this little cover on it. It helps me. I also have a uh, screen protector over the screen. You know, that works. Of course, you got the steam carrying case that come with it. I mean, it's just almost like a dream come true with PC gaming, but compatibility and things working like they should is definitely a problem for most people. And it's definitely a problem per se for me, where as in I have this, right? I got my PC gaming, but yet I can pick this up, switch OLED, and whatever I play on this will work straight up. That's gonna be your biggest difference. And that's the thing that you're gonna probably have the most issues with. So that's the reason why people say it's a Steam Deck for me. I always tell people that may or may not be for you depending on how this goes because this may be a great thing for you, but this may not be a great thing for you. You may be saying to yourself, get this trash. I want something to work that, you know, how it's supposed to. And you're not gonna always get that. And that can be a problem for anyone. Again, I'm just mindlessly playing. I'm not really paying this no attention. So if I suck at it, you know, it is what it is. So it's just one of those things where you have to look at it and say, if it's for you, if you ain't got the tinker artist, you don't like the tinker, you want stuff just to work out the box. You want to be able to be that man all day, every day, or woman or person. Hell no, nah, this ain't for you because it's not going to be that. There are going to be some times where you have to fight with this mother sucker. When I first got it, it probably took me about a good, 30 minutes to get it up and running because it was some games that just would not work. No matter what I did, I just couldn't get it to work. Put Windows on the mother sucker, couldn't get it to work. Love and regular Linux, still couldn't get it to work. So that's the main reason why I say that it is a good product, but it is a Gen 1 product. By being a Gen 1 product means you're a beta test dummy. It is what it is, but again, it's a nice product, man. You want to support Steam because you want Steam to do better. You don't want Steam just to drop this and never come out with something else better. There are a lot of other handhelds coming out currently at this moment in time. So that is great. You know, that is something that we all should be 
excited for, you know, and I think you should be excited yourself about the dick. I think the dick will be definitely one of these things that people are going to remember. Again, they sold over a million copies of this now selling other countries, which is great. Maybe the more people get their hand on it, the more popular it gets. They can get it in stores. The one thing that I'm going to blast them for is they need a controller for this mother sucker. I know you hook it up to the TV. I don't do that as a handheld console. I'm just not hooking it up to the TV. I'm not doing it because I have a PC. If I got a PC with a 3090 and 3080, it makes no sense for me to be putting this to a monitor. It's just, to me, that's not what I'm doing. I want to be able to play this offline when I'm out of town. But you, you have to remember that it's a Gen 1 product. And as a Gen 1 product, there's going to be some trials and tribulations. There are going to be some good days and there are going to be some bad days with this mother sucker. But that does not mean that you just throw it away altogether. But you have to remember that. That's why I say this is not for everybody. This is something that you have to sit back and think to yourself, should I, should I not? But if you want to get this for a kid that just want to play straight up like a switch, this ain't it. This ain't it. I don't feel like it's ready for prime time because, again, this is a compatibility issue. I'm not blaming it on them. I'm just simply saying that a lot of things have an issue with compatibility, and that hurts, and that sucks. But although that may be a problem for those who are into PC gaming, they're not going to care. They're going to play this, and they're going to get it right. It may take 20, 30, 40 minutes to get it right, but guess what? We still going to keep doing it. We still going to keep playing. So I also think that's a good hustle within itself but you know everybody is you know everybody's different man i'm not saying this won't work for you but this could be a problem and for some people then they're, they're not gonna like it some people are not gonna want to deal with it some people are gonna say to themselves this ain't for me but i'm not saying you shouldn't do it not saying that at all. I'm saying you should definitely look into it to see if it is for you. But you also should come to the realization this may not be for you. I'll let people up there tell you that this is for you and is 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 not for you. You need to always remember that you know you are your own individual. And it might not be the way. Might not be the way at all. Now, does that mean that you shouldn't buy it? No. Just tell me what I think. It could either be for you or it could be against you. That's just my thoughts on the Steam Deck in a nutshell. I could have went more technical and everything else, but I didn't feel like going technical. I just want you to see for yourself what it is, how it feels to play on it, whether or not you should buy it for the holiday season. Uh, Father, do you could be anywhere else? I want to say I thank you. I appreciate you. Steam that. Did sure you get it? Hmm. Think real hard. I appreciate you. I see you on the next one. Peace. <clears throat>